um, talking about this this morning, you know, we always hear people say, you know, hey, if you're struggling with mental health or depression or anxiety or suicidal thoughts, we always say you need to reach out. But sometimes you may not know where to turn or what to do, and that can feel really intimidating. It can feel scary. And this morning we're introducing you to a new crisis text line in Western Washington. I want to show you about this. Starting today, you can text the word HEAL to 741741, and you can be connected to a trained crisis counselor. We're putting that in the screen so you can write that down this morning. So Nancy Lublin is the CEO of Crisis Text Line. She's here to answer some questions about the new service this morning, along with Sarah Buckingham, who's sort of handling some of the local operations here as well. Thank you so much, you two, for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Um, so this is a really interesting way, I feel like, to connect with people who need help, especially in our day and age, where I feel like mo most of us are texting anyway, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. It's private. Mm -hmm. Nobody overhears you, so you can reach out to us in the heat of the moment. Um, <clears throat> people really share with us quickly. By the third message, they've pretty much told us what's going on with wow. them. And it skews young. 75% of our users are under the age of 25. So we're getting all these people who wouldn't normally yeah. share their feelings to, to share. I'm really glad that you're, you're mentioning this because yesterday we had a story about how the rates for suicide for kids, you know, 10 to 14 even, is skyrocketing here in Western Washington. I mean, kids, they are struggling. They need help. Absolutely. And I think the exciting thing is, is that they have that opportunity to reach out um, maybe when their parents are sleeping or, or yeah. that opportunity that they wouldn't normally have. So can you explain to me kind of how it works? Okay, let's say I text the number. What happens next? What's great is it's just like normal usage. Okay. So you text your parents, you text your friends, you text your coworker, you text Crisis Text Line. Okay. It's not an app. The number is 741741. Mm -hmm. And now in the state of Washington, you text the word HEAL. And, and you're connected with an empathetic, trained human crisis counselor on the other side. And supervisors like Sarah, who have, has a master's degree, um, is watching every conversation in real time. So there's actually a team of people watching your conversation, making sure that you're getting the best possible care. That's awesome. And I mean, when, when we talk about this, you were mentioning that um, in certain parts of Western Washington, this has already kind of started. Um, Sarah, can, can you go through that with us? Like, where is this already happening and how is that going? Yeah, so we've been international. Um, but the thing is with the heal text word, um, when you text that word in, it collects aggregate data for us. So we are able to see in the state of Washington um, where programs are working or what programs should be implemented to help the people of Washington state. So I'm, I'm wondering if people might be watching this, especially maybe younger kids, and they're thinking, okay, am I struggling? Like, does this, does this qualify me? I mean, what kind of feelings do people, you know, Great maybe question. people should think like, hey, maybe I should reach out for help. Great question. If you're thinking maybe you should reach out for help, reach out for help. Yeah, you might like, as well. You yeah. absolutely <laughs> might as well. Like, talk to somebody. That might mean um, any kind of empathetic adult, uh, the bus driver, you know, who just, who knows you because they yeah. see you every day yeah. or a coach or your neighbor or a distant relative who you haven't talked, just reach out to someone. Mm -hmm. By the way, that doesn't just go for kids. That also goes for adults. adults We've got to break the stigma you with know, this. We really yeah. do, especially men who are not so awesome about sharing those feelings. So, true, so yes. reach out. With respect to reaching out to Crisis Text Line or any hotline um, by phone or any other way is if you feel like you're unable to cope if you're in a place where um, that uh, mental health moment, that anxiety, that panic attack, that depression, that darkness, the urge to self-harm, an eating disorder, substance abuse, if you feel you are unable to cope in a productive way, reach out for help. You don't have to do this alone. Yeah. So, Sarah, Nancy, thank you so much. And again, if you feel like you are in that space right now and you do want to reach out for help, uh, we do want to show you that once again. Text the word HEAL mm -hmm. to 741741 and be connected, as Nancy mentioned, to a trained crisis counselor. Definitely reach out, get help, and uh, hopefully by talking about this, we can also end that stigma. And be a volunteer. Yes. Go okay, online, crisistextline.org and sign up. We have amazing volunteers here. Oh, fantastic. And and we love our volunteers in the West Coast because they help with all the anxiety and yeah. anxiety in New England in the middle of the night. So yeah. we need our West Coasters to help the other side of the country. Oh, perfect. I didn't <laughs> think about that. Ladies, thank you so much. You I'm glad that we could talk about this. Thank it's you so much on. for having yeah, us. Absolutely. Yeah.